Hello and welcome everybody to another unboxing by So Many Games at a Little Time. My name is Joachim and today we'll be unboxing Cavern Tavern, the secret of the five realms and also this little pack of dice. Now, first of all, why did I get this game? I was playing uh, Merchant Cove, Merchant's Cove, sorry. And if you see the unboxing, if you watch it, you'll see that at the back of the main board, there's like a whole map with some names. And one of them was Cavern Tavern. And uh, I said, I wonder what that is. Is it a game? Turns out it is a game. And I checked it and people compare it to Kingsburg, which I really liked, but I did sell the original game. But this seems to be in the same line of it. And uh, yeah. Really curious to see if that is true or not. So first of all, let me put this on the side and let me open the box. With open the box, of course, I meant remove the plastic around it. Anyway, so the game is by Ivana and Vojkan Krzyzewski, Tony Toshevsky and Maya Matowska. Okay, anyway, so one to six players, 25 minutes per player, 14 plus and so on. I like the rat on the side. Uh, cool art in general for now although okay this is a bit bland let's take a look at the back here we go the secret of the five realms it's a worker dice placement and resource management board that is get is set in the fantasy world so you are a worker in a tavern you have to serve drinks work in a kitchen do chores chores and on top of that try to keep every guest happy including the nasty and greedy barkeep so we'll see what that all looks like all right let's open this nothing here okay so cavern tavern rules of conduct so this is basically the manual oh and it comes with some stickers so you can create basically screen stickered meeples okay um all right so the components and everything yeah all right, seems pretty okay. The uh, the rule book. I don't let they don't try to cram too much. Sorry, I can't see the left side. You can't. I'll just quickly go back. So the rule book is here, and uh, the art is once again done by the Miko. By the way. So like I said, they're not trying to cram too much on one, on one page, which is always nice. It makes it easier to read, even though they end up with more pages. But I guess that is, wasn't really a problem. Uh, so you can really see the art of the Miko, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Solo play, pretty cool. Doesn't seem to be too simple. All right, cool. And then, of course, the map that you also see in Merchant's Cave. I like Merchant's Cove. I like how they have the whole connected thing. All right, on board, which I'm holding upside down. Single-sided. A bunch of tokens. All right. Okay. There you go. All right, and then these, I guess, will be the player boards. Maybe on the other side. Probably, yes. Let's see. Yes, and they seem pretty much the same, all of them. What about the back side? It's also all the same, yeah. So I guess you use the back side of the people who are not playing, on the boards, I mean, uh, so you can have some extra information on how to play, like refer to it. There's another game who did that, that I really liked. I'm thinking about which one it was. Oh, I've forgotten about it. Okay, I cannot get this board out. I'm going to have to flip the box. Otherwise, I'm going to have to force it, which I don't want to. So flip it, Michelle. It's a bit too tight. Oh, okay, it's really stuck in there. All right, so don't want to force anything. Obviously, don't want to break anything. 
If I can get this piece out, okay, I'm sure I can maneuver it out. Wow, it's really stuck in there. Okay, got it. It's because the sides are a bit curled up, so I think maybe it was stuck behind there. Okay, let's take a look what the board looks like. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, so this is what the board looks like. It looks pretty nice, right? Um, different places where you can put dice, I guess. You have the numbers, all of these. You have the mess hall where I'm sure things will happen. So yeah, nice. Okay, so let me zoom back in and continue with the rest of the unboxing. Okay, this is a finger. To show you what time it is, it's a clock. Okay. Um, Oh, so much to go through. Let's do this first. Wow, this is really nice. Especially the key is really cool. I guess it's the first player marker, I imagine. And then the little kegs. Well, kegs, the mugs, I guess, the big beer jugs. Okay, and then even the meeples are like thicker and wider than usual. Cool, really nice. Nice touches. All right, then we have a bunch of normal dice that I'm not even going to look at. I'll remove it instantly because that's where these come in. These are the upgraded dice. So let me open this here, get them all out. So with upgraded dice is this game was a Kickstarter and then these dice were in the Kickstarter. And then when you get the game, you can also order them separately. But you can see they look way cooler than just regular dice. So much more appealing. Okay, let's take some. Let's take a look at the cards. I'm gonna open all decks and then get back to you. Okay, let's start with the smallest deck. You have a bunch of keys, and then the rest is all like this to sort of brew, I guess. So let's take a let's take a look at the brewing cards first which I imagine will be the drinks. Yeah, we have Ambrosia, a bunch of Ambrosia. We have beer, of course, an elixir, fruit, herbs, a liqueur, mead, nectar, rocks. Rocks, why rocks? <laughs> Spirits, syrup, wine, and then a magic potion. I guess it could be rocks because of, you know, whiskey on the rocks, something like that. I take it literally, maybe. And then we also have the keys. Almost forgot about them. Ambrosia mead, fruit or elixir, liquor or rocks. So I guess, I don't know. I'm not even going to guess what it is. Pluck the turkey. <laughs> Polish the weapons. Mash the, mash the grapes. I don't know. I don't know what these are. Yeah. This key cards, whatever. The cards to my heart, because they have a key. All right, so these seem to be uh, races, human, trobit, dwarf, troll, halfling. Is the other card more interesting? No, I guess these are just stat sheets. Victoria's Giants, vast gimlets. Is it what he wants to drink or whatever, or what they can order them? Well, I mean, serve them? Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. Look at So, these are these cards. Then you have these, which are player aids, I think. Yeah, they are player aids. Then you have these cards. Ingel, Ingeltrud, proud body. Uh, so I guess these are the people you can play as. I'm not sure. Grimald, headstrong. Tanelia, Orisis, Kishara, Nugi, stonehammer, and Rido, wonderfoot. And then you have two actions. But here, his nose is red. Not here too. So I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I have a lot of other nose here. Then you have some cards with a map. And they are objectives. Yeah, they're all objectives. 
Okay, like serve one dwarf, one halfling, one green elf, one human. So I guess the cards we just saw are really how you can serve them. And if we had keys, these are locks. So do the keys match with the lock? I don't know. These are also, also objectives. At the end of the game, you gain four points for every nectar ingredient in your completed order. So these are also end game goal scoring, I guess. All right. So if these are customers, then this is a, okay, this is another big batch of customers. Let's take a look. I think so, because that's what they want. A knucklehead sandwich, syrup, wine, and liquor. A shot of ice and fire, rocks, elixir, spirits. That makes sense. Yeah. And the points you get if you serve them. Okay, cool. So I guess there'll be a race in trying to serve them at some point. All right. Then we have these backs. It doesn't seem too good of a card. But yeah, the arts. Cannot say enough about the arts. Get out! Shady conduct. So I guess uh, this is the barkeep and he always messes with you. So yeah. Maybe you can uh, send him on to other people. I don't know. And then these are all what, cocktails or something? No. They're special abilities, I guess. Scroll, book of potions. Yeah. They give you special stuff. All right. Yeah, I'll go over it because these are, these are art cards. Scroll, book of potions. Tip, Sapphire Stone, Dwarven Axe, Dwarven Helmet, D'Amico's Pencil, <laughs> that's awesome, Magic Pot, Sand Clock, Hammer, Bracelet, Dwarven Ale, Talisman, Dragon's Claw, Elven Cup, Pipe, Lantern, Elven Chess, Clover, Glass of Strong Cliff and Dwarven Mug. Okay. All right, that's basically it. This, and of course, like I said, these stickers will go on these meeples. So, that was Cavern Tavern. I think this will be a pretty awesome game. It looks cool. Uh, like I said, love the art. And um, just dice placement is always something that I really, really like. So um, yeah, this will hit the table for sure sooner or later. And maybe we'll find out more about what I think of it. And maybe not. Who knows? So many games, so little time, right? Okay, that's all for me. I'll uh, see you next time. I was Joachim. This was so many games, so little time. Bye-bye.